Hello, hello, hello. There we go. We'll be starting in about four or five minutes. Um, if you're watching this on replay, information on the screen should help you find uh, anything you want. Uh, the email address at the bottom is if you want to send questions anytime, and then I will attempt to answer them on the next stream. You can find me at Twitch TV slash CMorgu. Again, the questions go to DDO stream QA7 at CMorgu.com. I will be on Thalanus. My guild is the Frag. Today is 2014 11 11. And we'll be starting in a couple minutes. Not quite working right. Let me try to fix this uh, chat box.
<laughs> yeah, glad you could make it. Um, not really sure why it's grabbing the wrong window. Oh, because the other one's minimized? Hmm. Still trying to figure OBS out, so give me a second here. See if I can't make it work. I tested it earlier and it worked fine, and then I start streaming and it's not wanting to work right. I think I did. If it's not working, then let me know. Um, Maybe that won't work. Are you still getting double tuck? How about now? That's good. I'll go ahead and close that. I've got is OBS and DDO running, so it should be good now. I hope. <sighs> what the heck? Oh, I know what might be happening. All right, give me a second. I completely closed all my browsers. I 
I just saw your tweet. Thank you for that. Yeah, Skunk, me too. It's awesome just to see the variety of different layouts for hot bars and everything. Yeah, it's a good 15, 20 seconds sometimes. I'm not sure why the delay is so huge, but uh, it happens. Forgot to go to who pop the group list. This machine has audio issues for some reason sometimes. Usually it's that I can't hear stuff or Hey Cordovan, how you doing? I am on Thalanus if anyone wants to come join me. Um, I'm on Epics right now. I think I'm going to go over to House P. I'm trying to get the last piece of the Antique Grade X that I need, which, by the way, I should probably check that. So I've got a scroll, I've got a shard, I need a seal. And that drops in the Epic the Snitch. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I need the shard of the Sword of Shadow for that one. So I think that's what I'm going to start with, is do the snitch here real quick. And then I'll move over to probably doing some challenges. Um, I missed the entire weekend of 50% bonus. Completely forgot about it. Um, because... I finally finished the Destiny grind. So I was concentrating on getting all that done. And um, if you saw my eight hour stream on Saturday, we ended up running through Stormhorns getting some decent uh, high level loot. <coughs> so I've swapped that in and working on, let me check that too, let's see what my timers are. I've got 13 hour, or 14 hours until I can play Shroud again, but I can play Vaughn. Mm. And I don't have any ransacks at the moment, so I'm good there. Um, let's see, raid completions. I am on 16 for Shroud, and so I need that, that last four to get the stone before I ETR. Even though I'm ETR, I'm going to go ahead and do it before that. So I'm just getting some stuff to set up for um, level 20 gear for my ETR grind. Um, Antique Great Axe is the major one, although I do want to get one of those decent cloaks from the Evening Star Challenges. Um, get that going as well. Always forget power attack. I'll go ahead and do stone skin. Mm -mm. With a mark in the air in the illusion area is different than outside. Mm -hmm. As if you were transported back on. the deep jungles of Zendrick. As with anything built by House Fiari, it is difficult Oops, I, to tell what is I am so used to doing party crashers that I just went in party crashers to the snitch. That's hilarious. To bitter cold. It is as if you were oh well. teleported leagues away. I'm in here. A few feet. Muscle memory. Go with what you know. Did I just walk by that? Yeah, I did. These archers have signaled. So everybody's doing well, having a good day. Had a good weekend, getting all your challenge loot. Or 
whatever else she did. Though you can see the rest of Stormreach through the skylights above, the light my main goal is to finish my destinies, and I did, so I'm happy there. Guild ran the, some epic elites, I think, with guild mates, which helped uh, have be able to switch back to my main destiny helped. And then we also did some EH Orchard, which none of us had done. So that was new and fun, exciting, and quite difficult. Yesterday we were in the Orchard, and there are a lot of big groups of mobs out there. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that. Um, I go ahead and play through. Although, this time, the, the other thing I'm thinking of doing is prepping some uh, sagas. Welcome back. The destruction of this make-believe scorpion has also extinguished the mark of shadow. The illusionary barrier is gone. problem with doing that is that one he can see me and two if I remove my cloak I lose all my spell points so that's not really a good idea sometimes I can get him to not see me it's a much easier to run through this I have yet to complete any sagas at all, so I haven't even seen the rewards, really. I like the multipliers that we get for being a small guild. rewards when I run with the guild. Run through the gauntlet, the house of the Arlen's illusionarian. But you still need to enter the chapter house and for end rewards, I mean. Cabal's attack. Although I don't like yesterday when we were running uh Epic Orchard, one of the guildmates ended up with the Boots of the Innocent, which was an awesome pull. He passed it over to another guy and so that's really nice item to have. I can see myself running that quest a couple times to get that. That's some nice high level loot, but again, I'm not really focusing on high level at the moment. Because I plan to ETR a bunch. I don't see the point. I just happened to be in that group on Saturday that uh, went from doing something I normally do into doing Stormhorns, so I end up getting some higher level loot from that. I haven't really done the Orchard quests at all uh, very much, so they're still kind of new to me. I look forward to doing Abbott and Mark of Death at some point. But I haven't done them at this point. I don't think very many of our guild members have done Abbott at all, and none of us have done Mark of Death. 
that I'm aware of. Yeah, as a uh, melee, I'm sort of in between that. I mean, I've got the 200 fighting, I've got glancing blows, so I'm okay with groups, but uh, the house Grand yeah. Now I think last night we all died when three different groups of 12-ish monsters all decided to aggro us at the same time. It was something like that. The party guest here seems like a harmless old elf, but that facade Thanks, Cordovan. I no noticed you uh, updated the title earlier. To the Appreciate that as well. I'm probably going to be in the minority of people with this opinion, but I think there's enough content in DDO as it is right now. Oops, I didn't trigger them. That's right. I was going to do the battle without that. Looks like an elf, but you see through her disguise to the glowing red eyes of her true tiefling. Friend. I'd rather see some balance updates that we know are coming, and uh, the big thing for me would be UI improvements. There's a couple places where UI could be a lot better, more expanded, intuitive, and provide a lot more value, I think. That's where I'd like to see focus, but I know that doesn't really sell well. So I understand that more content is a good thing, and, you know, more favor is good and all that. But I really haven't seen all the quests and raids yet, as it is. So I'm okay with not having too much. I agree with that too. Certain level ranges could use more. Um, we're finding that out in my uh, Thursday static group with the guild that there's not many quests at certain level ranges and other level ranges have a whole lot more. And I also su support the epification of existing content, too. But one of the big things I'd like to see is that the, uh, what's it called, Adventure Compendium be split into heroic and epic. So those quests that do have both, you can actually tell which ones you have and haven't run. That's a huge thing for me. And then more things along that line, like showing your ransacks and timers and all that would be nice. In right there. Um, instead of having to go somewhere else for it. What am I looking for? That's what I'm doing. Yeah, Epic Corthos would be awesome. That'd be a lot of fun. Not him. I just started doing it without killing the guy first, and I don't remember which guy he is now. There he is. That'd be interesting, be on the evil side. I'd like to make the end a raid, that'd be fun.
Yeah, the dragon's got to be part of it if it amplifies. Alright, now let's do this niche like I wanted to in the first place. Just over 11 minutes. I think the easy thing to do would be just to be hired by Salimas to do it instead of their group, have our group do it. That'd be fun. Mm. The sounds and smells of the busy tavern drift in from the next room. Perhaps Roderick Nettle won't cause a scene if you ask him a few discreet questions in a public oh. place. Hello, talk. Be a good reason to go back to Corthos, which I think is a neat area, but you really don't this visit stages. unless you're favor running. I mean, even if you're TRing, you can use iconics and bypass that whole bit if you want to. Be nice to have a reason to go back there. Yeah, <laughs> we'd have to kill the dragon for sure. Out of my way, Jelly. group open to see if there's anything going on that looks interesting. If you could lower one of the nearby ladders, you would be able to climb up onto the rooftops. <sighs> Banners in my way. As you turn the valve, you hear a metallic clang in the distance and angry squeals nearby. That's odd. If I'm close to them, they don't uh, harry me, but if I am uh, far away from them, they harry me usually in this quest. It's weird. I can almost meditate here. It takes a bit. Yeah, I always play zoomed out as far as I can, and it's annoying sometimes. I, mean, I, I like the immersion that, you know, they have all those decorations there, but practically it's annoying to have them blocking you being able to select things and see things and all that. Tried a couple other MMOs 
And either they just... I don't like the look of them. Don't like when I get in there. Don't like the play that I've seen. But then again, it took me a bit to get into Dio as well, so there's that too. Not, uh, hello, ladder glitch. It's not an easy game to get into. Your pursuit has I think it's rewarding once you do. Alley, and into a quieter, more prosperous Watchdogs dream peacefully in the sunshine below. If you're careful, you can catch up to Roderick now. I don't know why I'm bothering doing this, because I already have max XP. I don't really need to sneak, but... It's okay. Right. I don't know, I have su suspect an ulterior motive to uh, Court Event opening up streaming. I think it's also a good way to get feedback on how people play. You can see how people use different features, their bars, for example. You can see how they play, how many times they refer to quest panel or any of that stuff. See where they get stuck and frustrated, see what they're doing that you don't expect and what they aren't doing that you expect them to do. It's actually good research. The rust monster is so intent on devouring his metallic meal that he hasn't noticed your arrival. I would love to have a Twitch integration with chat so that I could just open up a new DDO chat window and see my Twitch chat right there and respond to it. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I figured. forgot to pick it up. And that kind of testing, you know, you can set it up, but it's expensive. Whereas here you have volunteers doing it for free and you get to see all levels of play, not just uh, presumably beginners as you would see with a focused testing group. That's part of why I watch other people's streams too. <coughs> One, I like making sure to support the other members of the stream team and the community and all that, but it's also interesting to see how different people play. You can learn things like, I know y'all were learning things about the quest um, last Saturday's, Saturday before last stream. You were learning stuff in Haunted Halls, and you were teaching it last time, which was interesting as well to see what was going on. And I've run through that once. I had no idea what was going on. It was a pug... It was a Zerg. First time I'd seen the content, and I don't own it. It was while I was VIP, so it was interesting to see all the different optionals in that quest, and all the different things you can do, and paths to take, and traps to avoid, and all that. Um, I disagree. Uh, C Rex is Pendragon. I think watching how people play informs, can inform any stage. Even this late stage of the game, they can make some uh, pretty good decisions by watching how sampling of different players play. Just like you can learn in a pug, you can learn watching streams, you can learn all different ways. New things about the game or each individual quest or different gear, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I didn't see it drop, so that's not unexpected. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump in the Spies in the House group.
because, uh, of course, then I go the wrong way to the teleporter. This is a really interesting quest, if you haven't seen it before. I remember trying to sell this not too long ago, and it didn't go well. I was completely unprepared for what was in this quest. To say there are traps is an understatement. There are so many traps. Mm. Come on, let me through. Thanks, Cordovan. <coughs> you hear a prisoner's voice calling out. I wrote a rather long post on my site about community and DDO. Um, link to the eight hour stream. Not really, well, I guess part of it, the stream did show some good group leaders, so it could be related to it. Um, I had meant to go back, because that eight hour stream is kind of a lot to wade through. I don't really expect anybody to sit and watch it all the way through, so I was wanting to skim through it, at least post like a quick uh, time code guide. So, hey, if you want to see us running the Stormhorns bits, here's where that starts. And if you want to see this, here's where that starts, kind of stuff. But I wanted to have s things to talk about on stream, so I went ahead and had some thoughts and put them down on the in a post about <coughs> community and kind of referencing the thread in the forums about uh, people on either side of the fence about getting kicked from groups and proper etiquette and all that stuff. The grinding of metal gears. You hear a metal portcullis slide open in the distance. I don't think developers you can or should concentrate on just one aspect of the game like that. I don't think it does anyone any favors if they're too focused on one piece. I know that stuff needs to be fixed. The duping in particular needs to be fixed. I understand that and I agree with it. But um, people will always find new ways to break things, exploit things, and uh, that's always going to happen. Why do I have feather fall on? It's hmm. part of my problem. I have the wrong ring on. So from my Twitch page, uh, there's a link to my site where the posts are. If anybody's interested in reading those, it's called Seymourgo Twitchy. It's on seymourgo.com/twitchy. And it's a place where I'll be posting things about DDO and streaming. I only have two posts up so far, but there will be more. Now I need Feather Fallen. Didn't need it on before. Yeah, I've seen several game economies get hit with something like that, and it's uh, hard to prevent security and such come at the co cost of performance sometimes, and especially when you know things like there's lag issues in the game at the moment, so what do you concentrate on and what do you sacrifice for the duping. Oh, well, that, did I get up there? I don't know. Get over there. There we go. Yeah. 
I hope the schedule fills out even more. I hope more people join the stream team and uh, we have more people to watch. I've enjoyed watching everybody I've watched so far. Um, who's on tomorrow? Grizzly. He was fun to watch. Blue Queen, you guys were fun to watch. Your groups are riot. Always joking and having fun. Um, of course, Quarter Ven's Wednesday stream. I can usually watch the lunchtime one. I usually cannot watch the uh, static group one. Yeah, I know that people don't run some of the content, and that's sad to me. There's so much different and interesting content in this game, and some of it I don't really care for. Um, so I understand, you know, personal preference plays a part of that, but some of that stuff I don't see groups up for at all. And uh, it's sad in one aspect and annoying in another. Um, if I want to run that for whatever reason. Hello, Epic Chess, thank you. Get me that so I can hit the door. Are we doing this again? Let's see. I'll just thank everybody. Drop that group. Oh, did I? I think I forgot to tell them they were on stream. Oops. I mean to do that every time I go in a group when I'm on stream. I forget sometimes. Yeah, I was in a Vaughn 5 not too long ago that we couldn't complete. We waited for support and then we ended up just going ahead and starting over because it was faster. I just got yellow. Uh, let's see, I think I'm going to go to Evening Star now. You know, if you have a character on uh, Thelonis and you want to join me, please feel free. At the moment, I plan on doing some Evening Star challenges. This is Simorgu streaming on DDO stream. Feel free to say hello in chat, ask any questions, interact however you would like in a nice positive way, please. Also would appreciate you following DDO's stream and my own stream, uh, Twitch TV slash Simorgu. Would appreciate any follows there as well currently set to host this channel um, so you know you'll have the right one if you see the same feed as you do right now also on YouTube username is also Seymourgu hmm I show I am streaming fine everybody in chat is saying they're 
having issues, so let me check on my other machine. What's going on? The failed to load video, please submit an issue report. Refresh the page real quick, and if that doesn't ha help, I will start uh, or stop and restart my broadcast. <laughs> wow, that's a big Twitch blow up. Yeah, it's not me. That is definitely Twitch is not behaving at the moment. Let's see if we come back now. Went ahead and typed in the chat. It says I'm live and it's trying to load the video. Yeah, it looks like it's buffering a bit, but it might be working. Well, I hope it's working now. Um, it looks like it's going better than it was. And I just got yellow network on my DDO. Awesome. Oops, I almost ran back to the airship. That would have been fun. I'm doing challenges at the moment. I'm on Thalanus. If anybody wants to join me, I'm going to do some challenges to get some ingredients to make myself a level 20 cloak for my ETRs. A smooth-spoken rider calls down to you from his perch above the ring. Welcome to our arena, Shalana. We don't Very good. They've accepted the challenge. I know they're merely some surface dwellers, and scrawny ones at that. But you never know. They may surprise us. So lock the arena. Let the games begin. Yeah, game's getting laggy too. before the trolls came out. It is Shalana. Round one has ended. So much for the warm. Now let's start the real games. Begin round two.
I'm lagging in game, so I can't imagine the stream's doing much better. gotten better for everybody. It's frustrating when you can't see the stream smoothly. You might just be worthy of this arena after all, surface dwellers. You will be able to withstand the horde. The longer you last, the greater your rewards. You can also seek glory by challenging our champions. Ring a challenge gong to summon a champion. Are the overlays showing? Because the server should be on the overlays. I kept getting that question last time, so I wanted to make sure it was visible all the time. A ravenous mind player wishes to invite you to dinner. Ring the gong to meet the underdark devourer. Got the mind player first this time. Wow, lag. Yeah. I've got game lag. Something serious now. the heck just hit me. That should not have happened. Yeah, nothing in the, my combat log tells me what I was killed by. I was killed by Og... whatever, the Mind Flayer, but he doesn't tell me why. Oh, brain extraction, that's what it was. Hmm. Death block doesn't help against that, I guess. Well, I got my 134 Silver Falcon, so... Not a horrible outcome.
There's my character name. It's Shalana. <laughs> yeah. Anybody want to join? Let's see what groups are out. Oh, there's a DA. Oh, they're on the last wave. Yeah, that's. I'm not going to just pike that. Eh. Whiz King. I could swing. It was whether or not the damage registry was the problem, I think. <laughs> yeah, I got yellow network again. Is there a tell that he's doing that or something to block that? Because I've got death block on. I would have thought that would have stopped it. If there was a tell, I didn't see that. It was just standing next to him, hit him with my axe, and then all of a sudden I was dead. Hop into the other one. calls out to you as you enter the arena. Mm, what are these tiny specks? I haven't done the other four around here. No, yeah, I just started doing these yesterday. Maybe I'll try the other ones here on stream. At least these are bigger and slightly more interesting than Devil Assault. <laughs> Sunspots. Yeah, um, it was lens flare. It blinded me. I didn't see me trying to eat my brain, and that's what happened. That's why I died. Is Michael Bay. I'm still streaming. Uh, you're not seeing it again? is acting up again. Um, nothing I can do about that, I don't think. So I'm going to keep playing and recording. And then I'll post this later. And um, if that's what it has to be, that's what it has to be. It's annoying, but if Twitch is having this problem for everybody, then nothing I can do about that. So Blue Queen and Thomas tap out, sent reports to Twitch about video not playing, presumably audio as well. <laughs> so 
so we'll hopefully get video back once they figure out what's going on. By they, I mean Twitch. I'm getting a little lag in combat still. I wonder if that means the uh, Twitch archive is going to be junk. for leaving we can't see it if it's working for you I'll reload it on my other machine then alright so far we just refresh the page there is definitely something going on there That's annoying. I'm sure something I can do to fix that, guys. Um, I think you've done what we can do. I don't know, I guess I could try lowering my bit rate if that might help. As soon as I'm through this challenge, I'll look into what else I can do to maybe help this. That's the mimic. I mean, it is one of the mimics. Oh, evidently, pause then play works as well as refreshing if the video doesn't load correctly. Thank you, Tom Thomas, for that. Probably depends on why it stopped. I don't know. Laggy, laggy, laggy. It's weird, just the other day I did a full eight hour stream with just a, cute, a few dropouts. And last week seemed to go fine for everybody that watching. I didn't have any complaints about the stream dropping, and then this week it's all over the place. scrolling that has nothing to do with what's going on on screen that's cool all right three minutes to kill the fire witch which might be enough time I'm not sure 
I'll have to see if I can make it. stuff dead. I actually start, need to start getting her to be uh, first degree burned, vulnerable. I'm going to be able to make it to killing her. Right, let's see if this will help at all. Get those guys out of there. I don't want to dance. Come on. But that should be enough time if I can stay alive. I will not get that one though. Oh no, my cheap masterwork arrows. Look at all that damage scrolling. Still scrolling. Oh, finally, there it goes. That was 10 seconds or so of scrolling damage. Thirty seconds left. Just a few more kills and that'll be it. I had quad damage. Oh, that brings back memories of doom and such. I am stuck here, so I'm going to go ahead and just finish out and see if it'll let me do that. Having, uh... Yeah, it's buffering on my side too. It's annoying. Two rush to plays, one, one friends in low paces. Sorry about that, but I had to type in chat because uh, it's so choppy. I'm not sure if anybody's hearing me, or if they are hearing me, if they're hearing everything I'm saying. Yeah. 
Yeah, I wonder if I can, let's see. I want to shut my local part of the stream input down to free up some bandwidth so there's not as much incoming. And I'm still in chat, though. Maybe that'll help. At this point, it can't hurt. <laughs> I can't dashboard because it's not my stream. I mean, it's not my account, so I can't go to dashboard and get the low res just to make sure it's working. I have to be in full. So anybody in Thelonis want to join for anything? I'm going to check who's on my guild. Looks like there's just one other person on at the moment. I think I'll go back to just doing other quests. Challenges are okay, but they are pretty boring. At least those ones were just straight arenas. I don't mind grinding those from time to time, but... <laughs> Thanks, Blue Queen. So the challenges aren't, don't make good stream material, I guess, unless I'm doing something specific or getting something out of it. It's going to be a while before I get any of the items. I have to run the other challenges, which I haven't run before. So let's go, I go back to questing. I think it's more interesting. I feel it is anyway. I was hoping for some groups on something that I could get in on. Uh, I don't want to die that much on stream, so I want, don't want to do EE. Not sure if they're in the first or second on the Wiz King run. I could join that, I guess. It's another thing I like. We mentioned in chat earlier about seeing people's bars and layouts and stuff. Airships are the same way. It's interesting to see how diff different guilds have laid their airships out. Oh, I didn't even say I got that ruby. Selling is lagging. That's how bad it is. Let's bag some stuff. Dump junk in inventory. I didn't see those throwing axes. I should just sell those too. I'm lagging just doing banking. So, yeah. I've got some lag going on. For sure. Has it settled down at all? Oh, hello, I sell. Can you please sell? Thank you. Yep, this is one of those times where not much is going on. Uh, bless. I'm going to go ahead to house K. And I'll run some stuff out here. 
I would like to get on a Vaughn 5. But again, waiting for a group like that does not make good streaming material. Wow, I am jumping all over the place now. Cool. Lag or no lag, I should be able to kill a bunch of trolls on casual. That shouldn't be a big deal. If I can move, that would be the key. As you emerge from the gulch, trollish war drums begin to beat a steady rhythm. You have been spotted by a lookout. The Blackheart trolls have made their home in the shadow of these. <laughs> they seem to repel invaders. Could they possibly be allies of Vale? Lag, lag, lag. Not anticipating being too much of a problem, even though I'm soloing. Well, I'm gonna go in EN. There's only a couple spots where there's enough stuff to really do much damage. Ahead, a glowing barrier blocks access to a Majestic being of metal and magic glares at you from the cavern ahead. This is inevitable. The sole purpose is to destroy those who cheat death. So I was talking earlier about etiquette and courtesy and getting kicked from groups and all that. And uh, this goes into one of the forum threads I was reading last week, end of last week I believe, that people, somebody got kicked from a group and there was a very long thread about everybody's opinions whether or not they should have been kicked, whether that was rude or uncalled for, I guess. Um, and, oh, just I'm hanging him in there now. So yeah, I wrote a post about it. And yeah, you know, that can be considered rude, but it also can be considered rude to uh, do a thing that wastes up to 11 other people's time. Um, and I see that all the time, and people don't get kicked, and 